Hi, it's Ellen Holstein, Community Program Manager at Pierce Cedar Creek Institute. Spring is a great time to look for signs of animals. There are many different ways you can look for signs of animals in your backyard, in your local park, and in your local nature preserve. And these signs can come in many different ways, from feathers, to fur, to footprints, even nod on branches, nod nuts, as well as poop. So animal poop can actually be many different forms, or you can say many different names for animal poop. It could be waste, it could be excrement, it could be castings from earthworms, frass from insects, uh, droppings from birds or from deer. You can also call it scat. So scientists like to call animal poop scat, and a scientist who studies scat is called a scatologist. If poo is not for you, animal tracks is another way to look for animal signs in the spring. A lot of times people think winter is a good time to look for animal tracks because you can see the tracks really well in the snow. But as that snow melts, it actually makes those tracks bigger, so it actually distorts the tracks. In the spring, when you get those spring rains, it's great to look for animal tracks in the soft mud, like the one here, or in sand or soft soil. A person who studies animal tracks or looks for animal tracks is actually called a tracker. And spring is a great time to look for animal tracks because animals are more active in the spring, especially much more active than the winter. So in the next four videos, we're going to learn how to be a backyard investigator. We're going to be looking at different scat and different tracks to figure out what animals were there, what animal it is, how they moved, and other different things about these animals. We're going to look at scat, we're going to be looking at tracks, we're going to be doing lots of hands-on activities. I'm going to have videos for you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do these activities at home with the materials you have in your house. I'm also going to give options for different ways to do these activities depending upon what materials you have at home as well as the age of your child. So if you're an older child or if you're a younger child, you may want to modify the activity. So come with me and let's learn how to be a backyard investigator.